In this video, everything will go wrong. First of all, I managed to lose the videos from the first half of this project. So in the first half, I'll be making an epoxy tray, and in the second half, I'll be working on a coffee table. If you want to make either one, the steps for crafting them are the same, only the dimensions are different. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, Wood Euphony here. Like I said in the beginning, this video is full of surprises. So keep watching until you see them all. Whatever we're crafting from wood, there are always a few repeated steps in the process. First, we must plane the wood. In the next step, I use a thickness planer to make the wood straight and parallel. I made myself a template of the inner diameter of my mold box, so I can easily trace a line around the template and see a preview of the design before cutting. For the actual cutting, I used a bandsaw. It's much easier to cut the wood with a bandsaw than with a table or track saw. With that said, it isn't completely straight, but it's enough to achieve the rough shape. Throughout these clips, you'll see that I wasn't happy with the design. As a result, some additional cuts were made to come up with the design that I liked. Once the cutting was finished, I returned home in order to spend some time with my son while I worked on the project. In my garage, I cleaned bark off the wood to ensure the resin would bond properly. Right here is where I made the first mistake. Every soft piece of the wood had to be removed. Now, I used a brass wheel, but a nylon wheel with a drill would work perfectly as well. In addition, if you use a nylon wheel, you won't damage your t-shirt like I did. Before pouring the resin into the mold, don't forget to wipe it down with some sort of separator. You can get a separator in aerosol form as well. If you don't have any, you can use some cooking spray. Just don't tell your wife that I gave you that idea. For this table, I used a slow cured epoxy from Dipoxy. This was the best product I could get in Sylvania. We have some other brands, but they aren't as consistent in terms of quality. I also used six liters of resin and added black pigment. For this specific table, I don't have a buyer yet. So if you want it, the link for my Etsy shop can be found down below. In addition, you can support me by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to click the bell notification too, so you won't miss my next video. After roughly mixing the resin, it's time for the pouring. After you're done, don't forget to pop any small bubbles with a torch or industrial dryer. I don't have a 60 centimeter wide planer, but I have a CNC machine with a working space of 60 by 90 centimeters. So I use what I have. You can use a router with a flattening jig, which works the same way as my CNC machine. If you're wondering if my voice changed, no, it didn't. After completing two jobs and living with my 18-month-old son, I wasn't able to find a silent place in my apartment to record the voiceover. So I hired a guy from Fiverr to help me out. His name is Jake, and he's doing the voiceover for my script. What do you think? Should we keep him? He's quite nice to work with. <laughs> By the way, you can find his Fiverr link down below as well. After flattening one side on the CNC machine, we moved to the belt sander. Here we have attached 150 granulated sandpaper. Once the sanding work is done, we must return to the CNC machine to flatten the back. Now, as you can see, I really need another dust collector. They're quite expensive nowadays. Now we repeat the steps with the belt sander. After the CNC and sanding processes are complete, we move to the saw. There we first cut the dimensions and, after that, make a cut at 30 degrees on the bottom to create a nice profile. On the upper side, we did a round over using a 4mm round over router bit. 
is my little boss. That's my son, who's given me instructions on how to do the sanding. He said, look, first you must sand with 120, then 180, then move to 240, and finish with 320. Pop the grain between every step. I responded to him by asking, what do you mean by pop the grain? Pop the grain refers to when you raise the fibers of the wood, which you must then sand flat. You can raise the grain with spirits of water from a can or by using a damp cloth. I humbly nod and begin the process. Okay, the story is over. But this is truly the correct step-by-step -step process to achieve 100% smooth finish. Now, enjoy yourself by listening to some smooth jazz music and have a nice laugh for the next minute or so. One eternity later. After an eternity of sanding, it's time to assemble the legs. For attaching the base, I used M4 screw inserts. Each leg had four holes for the screws. Each leg was so thin that I felt it was a little overkill for that table, but better overkill than underkill. The inserts can be a pain in the <clears throat> ass to screw in straight, but if you use a drill bit with the right dimensions, they'll go in without a problem. Everything is ready to be finished now. On the bottom side, we used a food safe oil finish that is durable. But not as durable as the Odie's oil that we used on the upper side. If you're from Europe, you can find the link down below for Odie's oil. They have a really great customer service. They didn't sponsor this video in any way, but I really like their product. You simply wipe the finish on and after some time, wipe it off. After three days, the item will be fully cured and ready for use. And here's the grand finale, the final step for making this table. Assemble the legs and prepare for your first professional photo shoot. Hey, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to share your thoughts and valuable feedback with us in the comment section below. Lastly, if you have not already subscribed to the channel, subscribe now and press that bell button so you are notified each time I upload an interesting video. Hey, and my little boss will be really happy as well. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.